Hello, welcome. In this video, we're looking at what's called Fuel Economy 2. And we'll read the problem, we'll solve it in kind of an intuitive way, and then we'll take a look at the solution that's presented here, which is a little bit smoother of an algorithm, maybe less intuitive in some ways. Um, so you can kind of streamline the process. So we'll solve two of these problems, you get a sense of it, and then you can complete the module hopefully on your own. So it says here, how much would you save if you drove this far? So 40,168 miles in a year with a hybrid vehicle that gets 39 miles per gallon compared to a non-hybrid vehicle that gets 26 miles per gallon. And here it is, assume that the cost of gas is 448 per gallon, round your answer to the nearest cent. Okay, so you can pause the video and try it on your own. I encourage you to do that. But I'm gonna kind of grab a screenshot of this paste it in here. There we go. All right. Now let's solve it intuitively. So it's a little bit kind of more rambly of a method, but I, I think uh, it'll help you make sense of the process and then we'll look at it a faster way. So for the hybrid, I'm going to find the cost of driving the hybrid in a year. Then I'm going to find the cost of driving the non-hybrid and then I'm going to subtract the two to compare them. So for the hybrid, we can take those miles, 4168 and divide them by 39, that's how many miles per gallon we get. Then, we talked about this in the last video, I'm gonna leave the units out for now, just to keep it quick. And then I'm gonna multiply that by the cost per gallon, because this is how many gallons of gas I'll need. If I multiply that by 4.48, that'll tell me how much it's going to cost the hybrid to drive that many miles in that year. Whereas for the non-hybrid, it's basically the same thing, except I'm dividing by 26. And then we'll multiply that by 448 as well. And then we'll subtract these two things. So we can do it all in one step on the calculator. I think we'll be brave and do that. Um, but I just want to point out that you could find them out separately and then subtract them. Actually, we'll do that. We'll do it separately and then subtract them. So let's get started. We have 4168. Okay. And we're dividing that by, again, the miles per gallon. So 39. That's going to be 26. So 39. And then times 4.48, that's the cost of gas per gallon, 4.48. Now that's the cost of driving the hybrid is $4,614 over the course of that year. Then we repeat the same process, the miles driven in a year divided by 26, the miles per gallon of the non-hybrid. And then I'm just gonna throw that in there, times 4.48, all in one step. So it costs more money to drive non-hybrid. So the question is how much more? So we're gonna then subtract out the hybrid cost. Now I realized I was implying earlier that we would do hybrid minus non-hybrid. It's not gonna be that case in any of these examples since the hybrid will always be cheaper based on gas. It uses less gas, it's always less. So we're gonna subtract in this order the non-hybrid minus the hybrid. So I'm gonna grab that. So 2,307.09. So let's go back and compare. That was my intuitive approach. Let's see what we'll get here. So same thing, $2,307.09. So this is the same process, really. You can see that the miles, again, and the cost of gas, they were actually shown in both cases here. There they are, it's right here. Miles, cost miles and cost. So, okay, that's the first part. Then, what do we have over here? We have the difference of the reciprocals of the miles per gallon. So, uh, one of the cars is always gonna be the non-hybrid first, put NH, that was 26 miles per gallon. So it's a fraction that would be 26 miles for every one gallon. And for this one, for the hybrid, it was 39 miles for every one gallon. So the reciprocals are those fractions flipped. So one over 26 and then one over 39, this is for the hybrid, subtract them, and multiply it by this, you get the same thing always. Why does that connect to our intuitive approach? Well, right here, we can see that this is gonna work because we can rewrite it as 4168 times 4.48. Instead of dividing by 39, we can multiply by one over 39. And the same thing is true here, the same two first factors times, instead of dividing by 26, could multiply by 1 over 26. And we're subtracting these things in this order. Non-hybrid first times 4.48 times, bear with me, 1 over 26 minus the hybrid. 
same numbers. And this is where our distributive property comes into play. We can factor here times 1 over 39. And these are two terms. This is one term. This is the other. They're called terms. They both have this number in it, whatever that number is. Even if you don't know it, it's the same number, right? Same two factors multiplied. So we can essentially factor it out. It's going to be 4168 times 4.48. And then what's left are these factors here and the difference of them times 1 over 26 minus 1 over 39. I'm just factoring out a common factor. It's kind of like in algebra when you have ax exactly like as, as to minus, um, I'll use a smaller number. Let's say you have 3 times x and then plus, let's say, 6. If you factor 3 out, you would get x plus 2. You divide both of these terms by 3. So by dividing both of these terms by this factor, that's just it by itself. It's 1. You don't need to even write that. Write one. You wouldn't write this. 1 times 1 times. That would be confusing. You don't need to do it. And all that's left are those fractions. So that's where this algorithm's coming from. And it ends up being really handy, I think, this approach you'll see in the next example. So it says here, how much would you save per month? So now notice it's not per year, it's per month now. If you drove this many miles and the hybrid gets 51 miles per gallon, the non-hybrid gets 27 miles per gallon, there's the cost of gas. So take a moment, maybe pause the video, try it out, and then press play and we'll talk about the solution. So what's going on here? Let's look at the solution. So you've got the miles times the cost, and then here's that difference in the reciprocals, right? Non-hybrid minus hybrid. But notice the only difference from last time is now we have 12 here because we're looking per month. If it's per week, you can probably guess it's going to be a 52, and if it's per day, it's 365. So the reason we, we stress this structure here is, first of all, we want to have flexibility in mathematics. But also, this complicated algorithm, it looks like really random almost. Like, what's going on here? Ah, well, once you have this structure set up, you can just change out the number here. 1 for years, 12 for months, 52 for weeks, and 365 for days. And then you can process these answers relatively quick, quickly, which means your template essentially is going to be the miles you're dri driving in a year, the cost per gas, the non-hybrid reciprocal miles per gallon. Instead of 27 miles for every one gallon, it's one gallon for every 27 miles. And the hybrid here is the same reciprocal, that hybrid miles per gallon. And then this is the time unit you want to find. So we have miles driven. This is the cost per gas. And then this will get you the, this answer right here. All right, so I hope that helped.